I invited random strangers off the internet to come camping with me and they all turned up. I have no idea how the next 12 hours are going to turn out. <laughs> this is one of those ideas that comes to you in the shower. And I was thinking, what would happen if I invited a load of strangers to come camping with me? So I thought this time, let's just do it. Because everyone thinks that adventure needs to be this big, expensive, lengthy process. And it absolutely doesn't. We've got so many adventures on our doorstep that we don't take advantage of because we're always looking to the big, shiny things. But as soon as you reframe adventure to something where you just have to step into the unknown, it opens up a whole load of opportunities that are close to home. I told people the time, the place, and a basic kit list and the instructions to meet at six o'clock at the train station. And that's all they knew. So these people had no idea who was gonna be there, who they were gonna meet, and what was gonna happen. Straight away, it's an adventure. Regardless of anything else, they're stepping in to the unknown, and that's the point. Really just chatting to people. Like people have come from Manchester, people have come from Leeds, and this is on 48 hours notice, and they've just seen it and taken that step without overthinking it. And already people just bonding, chatting, getting to know each other. There's already groups of people that I thought had come together just by the way that they're interacting. And that's just because everyone's come with that open attitude and embracing adventure. And that's really what adventure's all about, is just taking that step into the unknown. And even now, like, everyone's like, this water is not, is not the best conditions. But everyone's just getting in and embracing it. Um, it's just awesome. Like, it's just really, this is one of the reasons we started t &E, just to meet people like this and create communities like this. Yeah, it's just amazing. We were going great until we got to this fence. The last time we walked this route was two years ago. Golden rule of the military is time spent on recce is never wasted. We broke that, didn't spend any time on recce in the assumption that it was going to be exactly the same. Turns out in that period, HS2 had started to build their railway line through it. Another military mantra, no cuff too tough. We figured we'd just climb through, go through to the other side, it would be absolutely fine. And then this happened. Did timing go down that way for a record? Yeah. Well, health and safety uh, executive has uh, arrived. We're not allowed to be in this area, so they're going to have to try and get some vans to take us out. No plans for our first contact. The route that we usually do has been fucked by HS2 because they're building a massive railway across it. So we've just been escorted across their site, and now we're back onto the original route. But that's what we came out for, a yeah. nice little adventure. Cool. And at this point, darkness settling in, we'd planned to be at the camping site. That hadn't happened. And you can see people in their own worlds, in their own thoughts, but it was brilliant. This was Friday night. It really brought home what we were doing. Normal Friday night, perhaps people at home sat on the sofa, scrolling through their phones, whereas they're out on an adventure. They don't know how far it is to the campsite. It's now pitch black. This is a micro adventure. This... And then we finally arrived and walking around, helping people set up, you know, some people have never used any of this stuff. Andrew, one of the guys who bought a tent four years ago, he's never used it. This is the first time, but he's already planning future trips. And he's doing that because he's taken this first step. He's had this experience. He's seen how powerful it is. And now he wants more of it. 
It's given them an experience of showing what's possible with simple steps, and this applies to anything in life. It doesn't have to be going out camping, it's anything. Anything where you can take a step into the unknown, you're going to open yourself up to a wealth of experiences, meeting new people, having opportunities, expanding your own potential. And if you're not doing that, you're missing out on life. You are not living. nice random group of people and that's all part of the fun isn't it really? yeah. getting to chat to people from all over the country uh, and yeah. have a great time <laughs> sweat a lot <laughs> finally get to a beautiful place to camp for the night it was real last minute it came about just a few days ago um, in the week and it, it was the way it was worded it was quite cool it was like what are you doing Friday this is what we're doing who's joining and um, and I was like yeah I'm up for that I'm, I'm quite I enjoy spontaneous sort of stuff as well so this came about I looked at where it was it was pretty accessible so I thought that, that suits me um, and it's been good actually didn't know anyone on the course it was nice to meet people it's been it's been fun it's been it's been what it says on the tin as well there was a few sort of few moments that you just didn't expect but it kind of adds to it it's the whole that's what it was exactly what it's all about it's it's it wasn't planned but, you, know, it's, you just get on with it and you just work around it so it's, it's kind of like i think that's, that's pretty good thing. some noise and then have a nice easy bimble back down micro adventure done For sleep. Sleep? Yeah. Ten. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, yeah. We met Nathan yesterday. Oh, really? So, yeah, that's cool. Oh, class. Friends for life now, apparently. Yeah. Best man in the weather. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to corral everyone up and head down to the train station, which is like 20 minutes down the hill. And that's the beauty of this. We started yesterday at six o'clock, met everyone, wild swim. 8k walk, got up to the top, had some dinner, had a fire, and now this morning it's really easy trek back down. So less than 12 hours, had a great experience, got outside, met new people, but everyone's bonded so well. And it's just removed the barriers. I was just chatting to a guy there, he's had a tent for five years, had all the gear, and has never really used it. But when he saw the post, that was the spur for him to jump on and do it. And now he's seen how easy it is. He's planning to do way more of this stuff. And that's the point of a micro adventure, is to show that there are so many places in the UK that are great for having an adventure. You don't need to spend loads of money. You don't need to plan months in advance. It's just having the confidence, I think, to just take that step, just, just to go out and explore. And when you do, the opportunity, opportunities just open up. Right, we're off. Adventure over. Yeah, where are we going?